Hi guys, welcome to our channel Home Banao. I am architect Pooja Kothari and today I am going to take you through a furnishing store. The store is located in Indranagar in a prime location and the store is called Studio Vistar. Today we have uh, Ritu Tibriwala with us who will be explaining everything about furnishing to us so that you get a better knowledge and you are in a state to choose better furnishing for your home. So over to you Ritu, let us know about the store, how you guys started off and then we will get into different sections of the store. Thank you Pooja. Studio Vistar is a 7 year old uh, family owned business. We started off with the motto that uh, we really need uh, our clients to know more about blinds because when we say blinds it is considered only as office blinds. Uh, but uh, D Decor Blinds had introduced a residential range and that is how we started our store. Uh, we understood that the clients needed to be educated about the functional aspect of the blinds. That is how we started up and today we have entire range of blinds and curtains and wallpapers as well. So uh, Ritu, uh, wow, seven years old business and uh, I'm curious now to know what all sections you have in the store. Uh, I'm sure I can look at a lot of curtains here which have a very beautiful prints and designs over them with a lot of textures and this side that I can see a lot of uh, blinds. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you take us through the curtain section first and then we move to the blinds? Can you just uh, let us know what sort of prints or what, how, how do you really go about choosing a curtain? Sure, Pooja. So when we have to talk about curtains, it is a wide range to choose from. Mm -hmm. So you can go from simple voils to embroiders to uh, checks and stripes even. So everything depends on your window sizes, your interior aspects, your functional aspect and your budget. Okay. So uh, at Studio Vistar, we have an entire range from the basic budget shears to uh, the heavier cotton fabrics. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you look through the curtains, you'll find stripes, you'll see cotton linens, you'll find embroideries and you'll see uh, foil velvets. So depending on a client's requirement, we recommend what curtain would fit well for their window, what color and patterns would go well with their interiors and uh, what would be easy for them to maintain. So what you see here is a cotton linen fabric with a geometric print, which is a very flowy fabric. We have combined this with an embroidered solid fabric, a very beautifully uh, intricately embroidered. Then what you see here is a jute fabric where you see these modern stripes. It is a very functional fabric because it can be used just as standalone fabric too. Very flowy, very earthy. Then you have a foil printed shear, again very modern. Then you can see here there is a jute base fabric with an intricate zari embroidery done. They look very classical. Also it can have a fusion look when you have taken something like this which is a crushed foil fabric. These are velvet fabrics. We have uh, quite a range of velvet fabrics with different colors. Uh, they give you a very rustic and modern look. Also, uh, there are few colors which bring out a lot of richness uh, to the space. This is again an embroidered fabric. This is a, with a polyester base, but yet uh, the intricate design makes it look very rich. This is a solid geometric pattern. Whenever we use a shear which has a lot of work done, we prefer uh, recommending a texture or a geometric fabric. Then here we come to a lovely shear which is an applique work. Looks really modern. This we have combined it with an embossed fabric. For uh, villas where you want to give a fusion look, uh, these look really beautiful. So Ritu, you mentioned something about a shear. Uh, of course, as an architect, I know what a shear is, but if you can elaborate on uh, what a shear is, how we use it, where we use it, I mean, it'll be helpful for a lot of our users. Sure, Pooja. So a shear is a transparent fabric, uh, which is used for the window covering. It has two uh, aspects to it. One is the functional aspect, which is the light filtration needed in a, a room. Mm -hmm. Second is the aesthetic appeal for the room. Okay. For living rooms, generally people take it for an aesthetic appeal where mm -hmm. they go for uh, you know embroidered shears and with patterns with foils etc. Second is when you want some light filtration in the day without closing your solid curtains. Mm -hmm. 
so if you want that you know you have enough light in your room but still some privacy should be controlled you need a sheer fabric okay got it but uh, are you trying to say that sheer is always in combination with a solid curtain or is it also a, a stand alone sort of a thing yes that is a very good question in fact uh, sheer can be played around in many ways mm -hmm. uh, for people who have uh, you know no privacy aspect you know these tall high rise buildings nowadays you don't have any privacy issues they even go for two layer shears stand alone and you don't need okay. a solid uh, curtain along with it okay. you can play with designs colors and make your place look beautiful with shears so instead mm -hmm. of having one layer of shear you could have two layers of shear so your space would look very flowy very uh, very bright and you know uh, it adds a very good element to the interiors uh, suppose we take a room such as a living room where you want an aesthetic appeal as well as uh, a functional aspect to it uh, we try to take uh, these kind of fabrics where light filtration is more where people require a single curtain then you can do a semi sheer wherein you have light filtration as well as your privacy is controlled so a sheer is used both when you want light filtration as well as uh, you want an aesthetic aspect involved in it uh, with solid curtains also uh, the solid designs is one aspect then the backing is another aspect when you want a blackout fabric any fabric that you choose can be uh, given as a blackout lining if you want a pitch dark room mm -hmm. okay and coming to the fabric and maintenance because i i heard you tell about maintenance so um say uh, it's it's a budget friendly option that yes. uh, i'm looking for yes. what should i really go in for like with respect to the fabric or with respect to maintenance in my mind because i'm sure a lot of uh, my right. clients at least have always told me give me maintenance free homes right so uh, how do i go about choosing a maintenance uh, free sort of a curtain sheer or So the first rule of thumb of maintaining the curtains would be that you dust it and vacuum it once in a while so that there's no dust accumulation on the fabric and yet when it's time for you to wash the fabrics if you've taken an embroidered fabric or a foil fabric it is always recommended by the company that you have to give it for a dry clean probably after two or three dry clean washes you can start doing it a bucket wash at home even but uh, the first rule of thumb is to give it for dry cleaning and not to put it in a machine wash for these kind of embroideries but when you have these printed fabrics and polyester fabrics they can easily maintain and uh, home wash as well right now uh, what if i am looking at something very elegant uh, for a, a more like a luxury sort of a house so uh, what will i choose in the materials there that is a very tricky question because it could be a luxury house but doesn't mean that when you have a luxury house you are doing all embroiders and you know heavy velvets or something like that it is a very personal choice when it comes to luxury you know uh, designers and architects and the client themselves they want something very simple very sober because they have so many elements in luxury houses to play with that if we provide them a very heavy fabric on their window they cannot play around with other elements of the space very right? true very true right so uh, when it comes to luxury houses we try to give them very simple shears with no embroidery mm -hmm. we try to give them textured fabrics you know uh, with uh, suppose a rustic look look or a very simple look or something like that but when it comes to luxury we avoid doing too much of embroidery and things like that absolutely i mean that completely makes sense yeah. <laughs> and uh so getting into the next aspect which is the price range right. so uh, what would be the ideal starting price or what are what is the range that we will be looking at for different shears or curtains okay So uh, coming to the price range a sheer fabric would start somewhere about 300 rupees per meter mm -hmm. going about to again uh, 2500 per meter if it touches an embroidered and things like that mm -hmm. and even with your solid curtains your range would start a decent range would start from 500 rupees per meter again going about to 3000 3500 rupees per meter so uh, for something which is a more budgeted sort of option like say for a 3 bhk what what cost am i looking at for spending on the furnishing 
see anywhere from 50000 rupees to 2.5 uh, we can uh, recommend fabrics it really depends on the mechanism it depends on the fabric that you choose and the size of the windows as well oh yeah definitely <laughs> And uh, do you have multiple brands for uh, your curtains or is it that you deal in a specific uh, sort of a... Yes, we do have multiple uh, brands in the store, mm -hmm. though we uh, you know, promote D-Decor and Vaya the most, but mm -hmm. we have multiple choices for all kind of clients. Awesome. And uh, I see some accessories here, um, just curious what are they used for and how are they going to be used? Yeah, so uh, these are magnetic tie bands mm -hmm. which we use to dress the curtains. Mm -hmm. They look very elegant and very smart, especially for your living room areas where you want to accentuate the curtain a bit. Uh, we offer these magnetic tie bands. Got it. And uh, what about your pleats? Say somebody is getting it a dry clean. Do they have to go again with a round of pressing or anything of that sort? Is there some maintenance with those aspects? Uh, not at all. Once you've given it to the dry cleaning, it comes ironed. So mm -hmm. there's no other maintenance. It just has to be hung back. Okay, awesome. And what about the channels? How is the installation usually or is it tricky? Is it very site specific or whether there is some projection that we are looking at when we are installing the curtains and shears? So at Studio Vistar, we do end-to-end -end, uh, solutions. Mm -hmm. To answer that, we do a site assessment uh, initially where we check the space where the hardware is to be installed. Mm -hmm. So the hardware that you see here is basically showing you a display of a ceiling installation. The first channel that you see is a manual track, uh, that is a single track. And uh, in case you want to do a wall fixing instead of a ceiling fixing, there is this kind of a bracket that mm -hmm. is being used, which is mm -hmm. going to be fixed up on the wall. Mm -hmm. And these are the two layers of tracks that can be used for a sheer curtain and for a main curtain. Oh, wow. So even if I don't have uh, enough ceiling space, there is an alternative which is with the wall yes. fixing method yes. okay interesting and the operation of curtains on these hardware is really smooth compared to the rods that was traditionally used most of our clients prefer going for channels because of the smooth operation of the curtains on these channels where you have a double height window and uh, you have problems uh, in using the curtains we recommend motorized curtains You can use a remote or you can uh, operate it with an app. Also, you can use Alexa. So mm -hmm. depending on the customer's requirement, if they have automation in their homes or they want to use it as a standalone uh, motorized curtain, uh, we recommend motorized curtains for such areas. Okay, and I, I just see a difference in uh, the way uh, the pleating or the stitching is. So what is that all about? Yeah, so there are different styles of uh, stitching in curtains. What you see here is a three pleated uh, curtain. What you see here is a, it's called a ripple curtain. Ripple curtains look amazing because, you know, they flow like waves and they fall very well. Uh, we, when you have to choose the styling of your curtains, we also need to see the space that you've provided for the curtains. So about eight to ten inches of space is provided, then we can do a ripple coated in mm -hmm. that space okay so basically the way my hardware will be is also dependent on the stitching yes okay so in case you are not uh, using the channels that you see here but you have done rods as your hardware then this will be the eyelet stitching that can be used okay interesting uh, moving on to the next section uh, which is the blinds which is what I can see here and they look very pretty so if you can let us no, how do we select these blinds? How, how do we, uh, you know, pick the right type or the mechanism for blinds? Right. So, uh, today we have a lot of options in blinds. It is not the vertical blinds which people really know which was introduced for office spaces earlier. These are roller blinds. Mm -hmm. In roller blinds, we have sheer and main fabrics both. Mm -hmm. They look very elegant and they are easy to maintain. They can only be vacuum cleaned and not dry cleaned. There are different mechanisms, rollers, shear horizons. They give you a very contemporary look. You can recommend them for study areas or you know your library. Then I'll show you another blind, which is a Roman blind. Uh, Roman blind can be made of any curtain fabric that you choose from. Mm -hmm. And they look very elegant for windows. Uh, that comes in two mechanisms. 
We call this as a classic system where you see the hardware is a sleek hardware and there is a Velcro attached to the fabric mm -hmm. so that you can give it for dry cleaning. Another one comes with the Pelmet mm -hmm. where uh, the same fabric is wrapped into the hardware mm -hmm. but yet looks elegant. So for smaller windows, you could go for this kind of style. For larger windows where you don't want that mechanism, you can do that kind of a pelmet styling. Mm -hmm. So, And is this something that we see in a lot of home theatres these days? So in home theatres, you can do Roman blinds, mm -hmm. but we need to back them up with a blackout lining so mm -hmm. that uh, you, know, you can uh, control the acoustic part of it and the light filtration from the blind. Got it, got it. So the next blind is the honeycomb blind. Mm -hmm. As you see, it is a very sleek system. Mm -hmm. Again, gives you a very contemporary look. There are a lot of color options to choose from. Mm -hmm. Even in the honeycomb blind, we have options of sheer fabrics and okay. the blackout fabrics. Mm -hmm. uh, where there's a space constraint in any window, we can go for honeycomb blinds. But this is something that feels like a paper to me. What exactly is this? Is there a very high wear and tear that I'm looking at for this product? So yes, that's right. When you look at it, it looks like a paper, mm -hmm. but uh, it is a fabric which is made uh, in that way. The texture is made in that way. That gives you a feel of a paper, but it is a quite a sturdy fabric. Okay, interesting. And uh, where is it that I use uh, these sort of mechanisms? Uh, honeycomb blinds can be used in your study areas, your library, or even in windows where there's a uh, where they, where you don't have too much of space to install the other blinds. Mm -hmm. Moving on to an interesting blind, mm -hmm. uh, most commonly it is called as a zebra blind in the market. Mm -hmm. you, you can see that there are two layers of fabric here. Mm -hmm. So there is a sheer fabric and a solid fabric. Mm -hmm. So whenever you need uh, a lot of light coming in, you can just keep it in a position so that you know you have light coming in from here. Mm -hmm. And whenever you require that it needs, needs privacy control, you can keep the blind in this manner. And you can also roll it at any given point of time. Okay, so when you say uh, no light, does that mean it's a complete blackout? Uh, we have options for blackout and what you see here is a translucent fabric. Mm -hmm. But when there is a requirement for a blackout fabric, we recommend uh, the blackout range. Right, right. So moving on to another blind, uh, this is a wood blind that you see here. Mm -hmm. It is again quite an interesting blind. Mm -hmm. So this reminds me of lures. Yes. Uh, wood blinds are very contemporary. We have a wide range of colors to choose from. Mm -hmm. There are designers and architects who want to give a very earthy kind of a look, a very modern kind of a look. They don't want to use fabrics. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the areas where we recommend uh, wood blinds. Okay, so uh, is this something that can be used in the outdoors as well? Uh, no, Pooja, this cannot be used as an uh, outdoor uh, blind. Mm -hmm. uh, outdoor blind, we have a separate range mm -hmm. uh, that is entirely different, mm -hmm. but we don't recommend this for uh, outdoor blinds. Okay. Uh, we have a wide range of printed blinds as you see here. Uh, these again we have as sheer and blackout blinds. Any kind of printed blind that you see here also can be made into another blind which I'm going to show you in the display. Mm -hmm. So from the wide variety of the prints that you see in the roller blind section, you can make them as a printed blind here. Mm -hmm. So they look very modern. There are these wooden slats mm -hmm. and the same printed fabric is cladded into these slats. Okay and uh, it flows all with even with the pelmet right yes if you see the pattern is made in such a manner that there will be no difference in the image once closed mm -hmm. even in blinds we can uh, motorize the blinds mm -hmm. uh, for windows which are uh, not reachable uh, with hand operation we can do motorization for blinds as well okay uh, and uh, when you mention prints, different prints, do you get some standard options or uh, can a client give you a print and you can do that? Yeah, that is again a good question. A few brands, so we have standard collection, okay. but we are associated with brands where they do customized prints as well. Mm -hmm. But we request our clients to give us high resolution images or a shutterstock image so that we can customize the blind for them. Right. So Ritu, you spoke about these blinds, but uh, I'm just wondering what's the price range like for these blinds? So there is quite a lot of price range starting from 250 rupees per square foot, mm -hmm. going up to 1200 rupees per square foot. Okay, okay. And now my question is, what do I choose between for a house, whether I go with curtains or blinds? 
well when it comes to budget curtains are the best option to go for but when it comes to look and functionality there is always a comparison between curtains and blinds because it depends on how your space is how your window size is what is the use of that window according to that we would recommend whether you should go for a curtain or a blind okay and uh, do you have any other fabric that i may have missed uh, apart from the blinds and the curtains that we were talking about Yeah so we also have uh, soft furnishing fabrics used for cushions mm -hmm. we have fabrics that can be used for upholstery mm -hmm. uh, we also specialize into uh, you know uh, doing different kind of customized cushions we provide fabric for sofas we also have tie up with sofa makers where we can recommend uh, different styles of sofas mm -hmm. accent chairs and also customized rugs Okay. Uh what I'm wondering is uh say um as an architect there are times that we may not be able to involve ourselves in these sort of processes. Uh is is there a consultancy that you have where uh, we can just refer you back to our clients and you'll take care of the end solution? Oh, that is the first point we should have spoken about because that is how we specialize in. Okay. Uh if you're a designer, you're an architect and you have a thought process towards a house, you have some renders shared with your clients, all you need to do is share us your requirements, your renders, tell us what kind of touch and feel you require for that house and you'll be sorted because we are going to, you know, let the customer know. what goes well with the interior aspects what are the colors that can go what are the accent colors that you can play with and we will help you sort out everything wow that's superb and uh, one more thing that i missed asking was what is your after sale service like so uh, i understand that there is a lot of mechanism at least in the roller blind concept so uh, see somebody is stuck with their blinds there 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 is something that happens always yeah. uh, how do you uh, go about it So we are a boutique store. Mm -hmm. We give a lot of personal touch with each and every client we have dealt with. So when it comes to after sale service, the client has already become a friend, you know. Wow. And we are always in touch with uh, our clients. Mm -hmm. So whenever there is a problem, we address to it. Mm -hmm. No matter it was installed five years back or a recent installation, the client gives us a call. He tells us his issue. We check if it is under a warranty period mm -hmm. or needs a extra servicing. Mm -hmm. depending on the schedule of the technicians we buy time with the client and assure them that they will be serviced mm -hmm. and within a week's time we have done all kind of services that has been required so far wow that's amazing i mean i think uh, as a client even i would be looking for that as a service always yes. so uh, i think i've clearly covered the openings of your house which is your windows majorly But I'm wondering how how do I uh, go about complementing that with my walls? Um, just just came across one of the wallpapers that I'm seeing here. So understanding that you deal in wallpapers, uh, how how do I go about selecting a wallpaper with you? Whether you'll be assisting me as a whole, right from the curtain to the wallpaper, or how how does it work? So we have a wide range of wallpapers mm -hmm. and if it has to be done for a client who is looking at a window covering as well as a wall covering it goes hand in hand mm -hmm. uh, with the wide range of wallpapers that we have from florals to geometric to metallics uh, we help them choose uh, keeping a balance between the textures used both for the wall uh, covering and the curtains that they are selecting Mm -hmm. uh we also help in uh, site assessment for the wallpapers where the wall has to be finished and till the installation okay that's interesting so what's the range that we are looking at for wallpapers then wallpapers we have a basic range going about till the premium range okay and uh one more thing that i wanted to know as a designer is uh, say i have a, a hand drawn uh, figure or there is some uh, print that i have really liked which may not be available in your catalog uh, will you be printing that as well for us uh it doesn't work like that because to have a customized wallpaper printed you need a very high resolution image mm -hmm. so if that can be clicked uh with a nice camera or something like that still we could print that mm -hmm. or else we need an image picked up from shutterstock uh, or something where you, the client provides us the id and then it is customized into a wallpaper got it got it fair enough 
what about the maintenance with wallpaper so uh, i've had a range of clients some who have been okay with using wallpapers and some who have had a very big no no to the wallpapers uh, just telling that they peel off very easily or uh, that the dust collects and you cannot clean it and things like that what what's your take on the maintenance part of the wallpapers uh with my experience with my clients and myself i think wallpaper are really easy to maintain mm -hmm. dust wouldn't collect if you are regularly dusting out uh the wallpaper peeling wouldn't happen if your installation is done perfectly your wall finish was done through a good coating of oil primer and you have used a good quality of wallpaper mm -hmm. so the maintenance is very easy it again gives you a life of 6 to 7 years easily okay and you need to understand that wallpapers cannot be washed or scrubbed which generally have people have a tendency of cleaning the wallpaper with water and dusting it out that is something which is a wrong practice okay so guys this was everything about the furnishing segment we've covered the curtain shears blinds different kinds of blinds and if you have any other doubts regarding the entire furnishing uh, segment please do write to us in the comment section i mean we'll definitely have ritu to address to your comments and if you have any other doubts related to this sector please do mail us we will definitely help you with it thank you so much for watching please do like share and subscribe to our channel